Team Menu Fire. Uh, we now have our 10th and final team already. I'm shocked. Tonight's gone by so fast. Um, our final team is what's in. And One second. Well, while we wait since we're last, uh, we get up, stretch a little bit, maybe? No. No? no. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're having a little difficulty with one of the laptops, actually. The PowerPoint trial expired just now. <laughs> so we're trying to get the... It's all set? Excellent. Okay, great. All right, so... Do you guys know that 17 million uh, emergency uh, doctor visits every year, as well as 30,000 emergency room visits, and even several hundred deaths are due to allergies? And did you know one in five Americans, it's roughly 63 million people, suffer from, from allergies as well? And that the cosmetic product industry is pretty huge. $33.3 billion that was in 2010, up 9% or 6% from the year before. Now, for, for these uh, allergy sufferers, life is kind of a pain. You know, when you're looking for, when they're looking for new products to try, uh, better products, you know, they've got to, reading the label is difficult, uh, doing the research takes time, it's not it's hard to do, and forget about trying to go to a lab because that's going to cost them an arm and a leg. So we, we figured there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better solution, and that's where we come in. And our goal is very simple. We want to help people avoid allergies when they use personal care products. And, um, and we actually have a demo. Hopefully this will work, so it'll be the first time seeing this actually work. Okay, we can swap out the, the laptops. Murphy's Law, huh? All right. I guess that's what you get when you're choosing trial versions of software. It just expires right when you gotta use it. Oh, okay, ready? And go full screen, possibly. Okay, great. So that's actually uh, reflecting what's on this phone here. And kudos to the developers here who have implemented this, this demo. So we have Sophia here, and Sophia is shopping at Target, and she's looking for a conditioner. So she has the What's in app. She pulls a conditioner from the shelf. She launches the app. This is probably on a slight lab. And she's now able to scan the barcode. So she's going to now scan the barcode for the product. Hopefully this works. It's going to try and catch the barcode. And come on. Excellent, great. All right. So it recognizes the product and it gives you information uh, about the product, the ratings, and so on. You'll see that there's an allergy score there. Uh, zero red alerts, three uh, orange alerts uh, for some of the ingredients. Now you can tap on the information icon up there on the, on the right for all the ingredients and all the details and so on. Um, but you notice there in the middle there it says list your allergies. Now it's not yet relevant to her and her allergies or conditions, but if she taps on that uh, button, the list your allergies, and we ask the app, ask them, hey, what, what, what are you allergic to? And so there's different types of allergies, chemical allergies, metal, and so on. She's going to select that second one there and, and tap on done at the top. And now the app is now, it's now personalized. So now if she scans another product, 
it's going to automatically flag anything that she might be allergic to. So now it's a red alert. That that uh, that com compound in there is now a red alert. Now she obviously doesn't like this project. Now what we have too is if she scrolls down a little bit towards the bottom, we actually have product alternatives. So there's this one that looks pretty good there. Five stars, no issues, no flags. So she can actually tap on that shopping cart icon there, and and she can actually uh, once it loads up. She can buy it, and what's cool is that we can geolocate the nearest place where she can buy that product. Uh, so there's two spots there around Seaside, and of course, if she wants to buy online, she can of course uh, buy the product online. And that's basically it. I'll hand it over to Mr. Business over here. Thank you, Sebastian. Let's just wait up until these people have everything in order. Okay, so our business model validation. We went around Monterey County and talked, more, talked to more than 30 people outside Macy's, Ulta, and Bath and Body Works. We found some interesting things that they wanted in our app, such as uh, a blacklist um, of all the things that they don't want to buy. Uh, we also found out that we have a competitor called Skin Deep, which has over 70,000 downloads, and they've only been around for three months. The other thing we did is we looked at our competitors' negative reviews. Um, so I guess we're going to have to go into questions. Of course, uh, revenue, by the way, nice demo. Okay. Yes. So. Well, we'll ask you a question. Why don't you tell us uh, how you're going to make money on this? All right, making money. <laughs> this is how we're going to make money. Uh, it's a freemium app, so it's free to download, but it's also a subscription service. If you download it uh, for free, you can only scan. But what we do is give you personalization plus uh, push notifications for new products that are available for you. Uh, the subscription only costs 99 cents a month. Now, I would rather pay 99 cents than to pay hundred thousand dollar like hospital visit if I have an allergy um, the other way we make money is through the recommendations that we're giving people uh, through their personalization through the app so we make uh, product recommendations and we have uh, affiliates with Amazon and the local stores Right, right. Um, if you recall, there's um, an icon. Uh, for, first of all, you can tap on the card there that said red. You can tap on that and get a full description and education on that particular compound. Um, so, and also how it relates to allergies. So, not just a generic kind of this is what this compound is, this chemical compound, but you know what are the common allergies related to it and so on. So, there's some user education there. And when you click on the info button to get the full details. Um, there you'll see the full list of ingredients, also color-coded based on your allergy profile. And you can tap on each component and again get the full details for that one. Yeah, quite an achievement over the 54 hours. Uh, my question to you is, though, if you want to, in your financial analysis, how much does it cost you to get it started? Mm -hmm. And what, what's your, what kind of break-even point do you foresee? Sure, sure. If you want to go to the room now. So, um, yeah, we, we, we think that we can bootstrap uh, right now and develop, further develop the prototype, further validate it with users, um, and that would be hopefully launching a, a prototype uh, to a much bigger group, do some focus groups, usability studies. And we would look to raise some money to, to launch a public beta. Um, and we figured, you know, you, we have two full-time developers that would be have equity in there, so they can take a pay cut. But we might need to uh, to hire other developers, contractors, and so on. We figured about 150,000 of seed would be enough to get that beta out. Where would you get your information, uh, your technical information on all of the allergies and you know products that are good and bad, and and then what's your legal Great counsel question. when you're bad right. mouthing? Some of our key partners um, will be a lab or labs that will help us build a quality database of compounds and how that cross-references with allergies. 
So um, that's kind of a little bit of our secret sauce is, you know, we'll partner uh, with these labs so that we have a database that can cross-reference uh, the uh, compounds with common allergies and so on. That's how we can flag those up. Now, another thing too is um, that users, free users, you don't have to be a premium user, can submit products that they find that are not in our database and say, hey, I use this product, I, I, I didn't, there's nothing that comes up on your app, but I use this product and this is what happened. So that flags it for us in the lab and go, hey, let's figure out this product, test it so we can put it in the database and now you know, it kind of organically grows like that over time. Tell us about Skin Deep. Did you say they're starting, and what's different from you? All right. So Skin Deep, uh, they have a mobile application as well, but they don't offer the features of personalization as we do. Um, they only give you the generic information. Uh, for as you can see. And we want to thank all the mentors as well. We had a lot of great advice and, and guidance. Thank you. this far and having like working prototypes freaking crazy so the judges are going to take their papers and go off to the judging chambers right now locked in the closet making their um, dilemma I wouldn't want to be in their situation right now because there are some amazing teams here uh, this might take them a while we're gonna have all of our participants come up here um, on stage and in multiple layers so short people in front we're gonna do a, a uh, group photo of everybody here participated so short people, you know who you are at the front, tall people in the back. Okay, on the stage, on the stage, all on the stage. And we're going to need to organize into multiple layers. 